Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I would like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. So today we are using a different setting. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know the setting and how we came about this setting. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about something near and dear to my heart. I'm obsessed with skincare body care stuff but it hardly comes through when I'm filming makeup videos but you guys see a bit of it when I am vlogging so yeah today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys something I don't see a lot of on YouTube a lot of people come on YouTube and show us their body care routines and stuff like that which I very much enjoy and I very much appreciate but I don't see a lot of people talking about body care for people who heal with hyperpigmentation people who have textured skin people People who have a lot of spots and mosquito bites on their skin and their legs and stuff like that I don't see that and I deal with stuff like that I personally heal with hyperpigmentation if I get a mosquito bite scratch from my cat or an injury it usually heals with hyperpigmentation and I've been able to get the skin on my face under control as you guys know I used to deal with um, hormonal acne and I've been able to get products that I can trust and I enjoy using I have slowly but surely been able to get a collection of products that work for hyperpigmentation on the body as well i shared with you guys when i decided to start taking my body care hyperpigmentation journey seriously the journey has been eye-opening i've really been enjoying it and today i'm going to be sharing with you guys the products that i have tested i have tried out and i have seen improvements with so if you want to have even toned flawless glowy smooth baby soft skin you want to come on that journey with me stay tuned and let's get into this video So starting off, like I said, I am going to, you know, categorize these into in-shower body care products, acne products, serums, moisturizers, and oils. So I'm going to start off with the in-shower body care products that have really helped with the hyperpigmentation of my body so we're gonna start off with the body wash that i have been loving i recently added this to my routine and the effect of using it is immediate the feeling you get is almost immediate this is a smoother glycolic acid wash from natarium this is what it looks like this body wash has really changed the game for me i remember i used to get the mario Badescu school foaming glycolic acid face wash to wash my body because i couldn't get my hands on a glycolic body wash that actually made my skin feel smooth this is a game changer and it's on the affordable side so this is supposed to gently exfoliate your skin and you know resurface the skin and to give you smoother skin i feel smoother after i use it to shower it's really really amazing but what i realized is that you know how you usually get into the shower you take your loofah or your sponge or whatever to wash your body if you go in first with this you're not gonna feel it like doing a pre-cleanse on your body i'm gonna film my shower routine soon i'm i've been wanting to film it for so long i'm just really lazy but i'll get it up for you guys soon what i do is i pre-cleanse my skin when i say pre-cleanse my skin i go in with a bar soap and my sponge I just rub the bar soap in the sponge i use it to wash my body and i rinse it off that's my pre-cleanse for my body to wash off any sweat dirt any excess oils before i go in with my glycolic acid wash so then it comes into direct contact with my skin and it does the exfoliation glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant and the work is almost immediate it just allows the dead skin to slot off your skin this just resurfaces the skin it just makes the skin feel smoother like when i I walk out of the shower i feel really smooth i really enjoy this i feel like as and when this is buffing away the dead skin cells is going to be able to you know allow fresh skin to come about and allow all the scars and stuff like that on your skin to gently you know go off as time goes on when you are gently exfoliating your body with the glycolic acid and i feel like it's very practical to use a glycolic acid body wash i don't know if it makes sense but yeah 
I really enjoy this one. So the next product I'm going to show you guys is also an in-shower product. This is the Skin Fix Resurface Glycolic Renewing Scrub. If you've been on my channel for a while, I've spoken about this product before. The first time I was going to try it out. This is the second of this stuff and I really enjoy using it. This product contains 5% glycolic acid and 5% lactic acid. What I do is when I get into the shower, it's as per the directions. I don't pour water on my body. I just go in and put a generous amount in my palm, rub it in and rub it all over my body. It has some beads in it that helps to, you know, exfoliate the skin and stuff like that. So if I want like a very deep exfoliation that day, I just go in with this. All I'm beginning to do is I'm using less and less physical body scrubs and I'm going into chemical body scrubs because I feel like physical exfoliants on my body aren't as effective as chemical exfoliants on my body because on my face, I stopped using physical exfoliants on my face years ago and I'm just sticking to using chemical exfoliants and I'm really seeing the benefits of it. You guys can see that my skin is doing better than it was years ago. So like I'm just transferring the knowledge that I know to my body to get my body to look right for me. So yeah, this is a very good body scrub. It's on the pricey side in my opinion, but I feel like it's really effective and I feel like there are so many other glycolic acid body scrubs. I'm going to show you guys a much affordable alternative to this scrub right here this is the first aid beauty kp bump eraser body scrub with 10 percent aha it has glycolic acid and lactic acid but this is much more rougher in texture than this one this one is smoother has a little bit of beads in it and it just rubs on the skin smoothly when you rinse it off in shower your skin is smoother you feel your skin smoothening out but this one is like rougher it's a little rougher at buffing the dead skin out even though it's a chemical exfoliant i feel like it's a combination of chemical and physical exfoliation i prefer to use this on my you know bikini area and my armpits and my elbows and knees just because it gives me like a little bit of you know umph the scrubbing is very intense and that's what i want for those areas especially when i'm about to shave i just you know buff it into my skin of course i make it wet because if you use it dry it's very harsh so i make it wet and i just rub it under my armpits between my thighs and stuff like that when i'm going to shave and it just gives me like a smooth clean shave and i don't have ingrowns and you know hyperpigmentation and stuff like that like it deals with it very very nicely but however if you're going to be using it please be careful don't use it inside your lady bits use it around your lady bits please don't get this into your lady bits please be careful but yeah this is um an affordable alternative even though they don't work the same i feel like they are both effective right. this is the panoxyl foaming wash this is the 10 percent one this is great for active acne on the chest on the back on the face wherever you get acne and it's also great at killing odors especially under the armpits benzoyl peroxide is a antiseptic product and it's a really really great product so if you have active acne chest acne back acne you know i feel like this product is really really amazing how you use it is you rub it on your skin you leave it for a while maybe like five ten minutes and then you wash it off it's gonna help curb the acne and stuff like that so i just thought to you know insert this right here so now we are done with the in shower there are not a lot of products but i feel like most of the products are the out shower things the things i use outside the shower in my opinion i feel like if you are leaving something on your body the effects or the results you're gonna get from it is much more intense than something you wash off I don't know if it makes sense but yeah we're gonna start off with body serums that help with hyperpigmentation so let's start off we're gonna start off strong this is not a serum let me just clarify this is a toner that I have used on my face before but I've stopped using on my face because um, my face doesn't do very well with glycolic acid I've stopped using glycolic acid on my skin because I realized that glycolic acid on my face is a little bit too harsh so I just stick to using salicylic acid which works for my skin type anyways so this is the ordinary 7% glycolic acid toner this stuff has been trending on TikTok. however I want to tell you guys that if you're gonna be using this in the folds of your body I feel like the folds of your body are always concealed I feel like they are a little bit more sensitive in comparison with the other parts of your body so if you're gonna be using this you need to be careful and not use it every day especially if you're using it under your armpits please don't use it every day I feel like it's way too 
harsh maybe you can use it two or three times a week like i do i started using this and i was using it almost every day and i definitely saw that it was a little bit too harsh for my underarms so yeah i use it two to three times a week and the results are great i don't experience a lot of ingrowns and the hyperpigmentation is fading effectively i just put a little bit on a cotton pad and i use it to go under my armpits in between my thighs you know my elbows and my knees those areas that are a little bit um, difficult to control when it comes to the hyperpigmentation personally i have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my knees and my elbows because of friction i'm a muslim if you can't tell and i pray five times a day my knees are always on the ground so i have a lot of hyperpigmentation there i've stopped bothering about it because i don't really show my knees anywhere but the ones on my elbows because i read a lot and my arms are always like this when i'm reading so the friction causes the hyperpigmentation so i'm stopping the habits of you know putting my elbows down like this and i'm using this to clear the hyperpigmentation on my knees and elbows so if your face can stand glycolic acid this is definitely a great toner to use on your face i've seen the effects of it firsthand but however my skin became too sensitized using this one so you need to be careful so the next product i'm going to talk to you guys about is the paula's choice skin smoothening retinol body treatment it says it diminishes the appearance of an even skin tone it helps provide firmer looking skin hydrates and softens the skin i can tell you guys that this is a hundred percent true i started using this when i was in london this is my third bottle i got it on sale when paul Choice was having sales this is an amazing body retinol serum i really like it if you're new here i'm obsessed with retinol retinol transformed my skin so i felt like why don't i include retinol into my body care and i did and i've seen a lot of improvements my skin is significantly smoother the hyperpigmentation on my body is diminishing bits by bits by bits i really love this product if you can't afford it please go ahead and do so there are so many other alternatives available for body retinols i personally also tried the Verst body retinol it's also amazing Verst is also affordable but this is on the pricey side but they are both equally effective it really works it really really works if you're looking to fade your hyperpigmentation if you're not getting anything at all from this collection of things i'm going to be showing you guys get a body retinol and invest in a body sunscreen because retinol is really the game changer retinol is an amazing product and the fact that they are making retinols for the body is just really genius if you want to fade hyperpigmentation on your body you want to have even skin tone and stuff like that invest in a body retinol another body serum that i'm obsessed with is the slather body serums from topicals the active ingredients in this is retinol lactic acid urea and squalene this is exfoliating resurfacing hydrating body serum all in one i feel like all the things that i'm talking about if you cannot afford any of them you should get slather because slather would moisturize your skin slather would resurface your skin slather would exfoliate your skin slather will just give you all the pluses this product is really amazing it also helps with body hyperpigmentation and stuff like that so if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation on your body and you are looking for something that has all round benefits i feel like slather is good even though it's a little bit on the expensive side i feel like it's definitely worth it because it has a lot of product in it it's 150 ml which is five fluid ounces which is a lot of product in comparison with a lot of these products that i'm showing you guys most of these are four fluid ounces especially this one but this one is five fluid ounces and it has a lot of benefits to it let's move on to this one which i recently added to my collection and i'm really really happy about it this is the good molecules discoloration correcting body treatment it says it improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots the active ingredient in this one is tranexamic acid if you've been here for a while you know that i love tranexamic acid it's been one of the actives that i've been using on my skin on my face to help fade hyperpigmentation let me tell you one thing about um, hormonal acne it comes consistently so how i do or deal with it is i use exfoliants that um, supports my skin i use barrier repairing products that will help my skin not go crazy with all the actives that i'm using i use sunscreen to prevent my skin from getting too irritated from the sun because i am exfoliating my skin 
and I use products that continuously inhibit melanin or melanin production in my skin. I heal with hyperpigmentation and hyperpigmentation is essentially when you have a pimple and you pick it, it heals and it becomes black. It becomes like a black spot on your face. That's how I heal. To prevent black spots from forming, I have to use products that would prevent that from occurring. That's what I'm trying to do for my body as well. Some people might be like, oh girl, it's a lot. It's too much. I can't do this. That's you. If it's too much for you, it's okay. It's not by force. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. If you want to do it, fine. If you don't want to do it, fine. It's a free world, okay? So yeah, this is a body discoloration correcting body serum. I really, really like this. It's also on the affordable side. A little bit goes a long way as well. My body hasn't reacted badly to it. It's moisturizing and it doesn't smell so bad. It has a slightly chemical smell, but I really, really like this product. So if you can't afford it, go ahead and get it. Now we are moving on to moisturizers. Luckily, most of the moisturizers are on the affordable side. The first moisturizer I'm going to show you guys is this one. This is the Skin Success Anti Dark Spot Fade Milk Tone Correcting Body Lotion. The active ingredients are niacinamide and it's hydroquinone free. I really like this moisturizer because it's lightweight and it's great for hot, humid days, especially in Africa. Like it's almost always hot and you just need something really, really lightweight, especially if you are going out, you don't want to be sweating all over. This would moisturize your skin and help to diminish black spots and dark spots and any imperfections on your skin I feel like it takes a while to work it's very slow it's on the affordable side as well and I've used this product ever since I was in high school when I was in high school I started becoming a little bit conscious of the dark spots on my legs so my mom decided to get this product for me and I really really appreciate that it really really helped with my skin and even my skin out it just gave me the confidence that I was looking for even though it took a while to work but I feel like this product is really really amazing I've used it for a long time and I'm really really happy that it's still in production some people really want fast results if you're looking for fast results please don't go for this product because it will take a long time to work if you are not patient you would just be tired of it but it does work this product is going to shock you I've also used this for a while I've been interchanging this in my other Palmas. It's also from Palmas. This is the Palmas Cocoa Butter Formula. It says it softens and smoothes the skin, relieves rough, dry skin, smooths, marks, and tones skin. Yeah, that's right. It has vitamin E and cocoa butter, which help with improvement of skin discolorations and smoothening marks and scars and whatnot. This is an amazing product. It's a moisturizer. It's on the heavier side, and it really does help with dry skin. It also helps with fading discolorations. It also has the advantage of a nice smell. It smells great. It just smells really warm and sweet like cocoa and I really enjoy using it. It's also on the affordable side and a lot. It, it has a lot of products in it. Um, it works slow but it really does work with unifying the skin tone. It really does even the skin out. I really do enjoy using this product as my daily moisturizer when i'm not using any of these actives i definitely use these products i know some of you might be wondering girl how do you use all these products when i film my shower care routine you guys are going to see how i'm able to use these products you guys are going to see how i rotate or i put these products in rotation to get the best out of them but this is one of my favorite moisturizers that really helps with evening out the skin tone so you can definitely um find this anywhere it's all over amazon but be careful not to get the fake one because people have started bringing imitations and it's really not the best yeah we are moving on to the last moisturizer which is pricey this is not the first time you've seen this on my channel if you're not new this is the skin fix resurface this AHA BHA renewing cream. It's clinically proven to smooth dry, rough, bumpy skin and keratosis pilaris, which is chicken skin. This is a 5% natural AHA blend plus 1% lime extract blend. This is true to the word. Look at how much I've used. And this is not my first tub. This is the best moisturizer ever. 
<laughs> I know I'm saying everything is the best, but I really like it. Like I use this and then I go to bed and I wake up still feeling moisturized. It's a really nice moisturizer. I really, really do enjoy it. This is the scrub that I showed you guys. That's the moisturizer. I just went ahead and I got the two. They are pricey in my opinion. And I've seen a lot of affordable versions of this, which I have not tried, but I will try, but I still have these with me that I'm going to finish them before I go ahead and purchase anything else. The fact that something is expensive doesn't mean it works. The fact that something is pricey doesn't mean it works. But if you find something that works for you, whether it's pricey or affordable, stick to it. Do not jump on trends. I know I'm here trying to sell you guys so many products, but I'm just sharing with you guys what has worked for me. This product is really, really amazing. It just really smoothens my skin out. It keeps me moisturized. It gives me soft baby skin. My skin is the best it's ever been alhamdulillah i'm really really enjoying using this product so yeah i just thought to insert this product right here so now we are moving on to body oils i don't have a lot of body oils but the body oils that i've tried i are trusted and true so this is the first body oil this one this is the palmas cocoa butter formula skin therapy oil with vitamin e it says it helps improve the appearance of scars stretch marks dry skin damaged skin and even skin tone and aging skin i really like this product i use it to top off my palmas cocoa butter and it smells amazing and it really does help i feel like it's also helps with blending the skin in making it look even and so on and it's also very moisturizing moisturizing so yeah um this is one of the body oils that i really really love this is not my first time on the rodeo this is not my first time using it i've used several of these i've put a lot of people on this oil it's on the affordable side and it really does work again it takes time to work so you need to be patient another body oil i'm gonna show you guys is this one as you can see as you can see <laughs> um, it's the skin relief spray body oil it says it's instantly nourishes very dry and sensitive skin um, it has oat oil and jojoba oil it's clinically proven to intensely moisturize smooth and even skin tone in just one week I love this I love this when I was in London, the only oil that could help my skin against the harsh winter was this oil I got this one, you know, there's a green one and this is the blue one. I love this one. So what I used to do was I would use my body treatment and then I'll go over with this oil. It's really, really, really amazing. It will just smoothen your skin out. It will just even your skin out and you, you are left with a glow. You're left with a glow. The glow is packs a punch. It's, it's a really amazing body oil. Also on the affordable side, if you can't afford to get it, please do. You don't need to go out and get all these products. I'm crazy. I'm the crazy lady who is obsessed with skincare. So that's why I have all these. I'm a product junkie. You don't have to go out and get all these. Nope. Just get one thing or two things you feel are going to work for you. You feel it's going to, it's, you are going to be able to afford and just use them. I am the crazy lady who uses too many things, who has too many things. So yeah. Um... Now we're moving on to the very last thing. This is the Bondi Sands SPF 50. You didn't expect me to show you all these actives and not show you sunscreen. No, no, that's not right. You need a sunscreen. You need a sunscreen in your routine. If you're gonna be using retinol, glycolic acid, tranexamic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid, you're gonna be using all these actives and you do not use sunscreen, that's wrong. You need a sunscreen that's going to protect your skin. And this is one of my favorite body sunscreens. It's a lot, as you can see. It's a lot of product and it's very, very moisturizing. It leaves your skin with a glow. I really do like it. Um, on days, you know, that I am fully covered up, I just use it on the back of my hands and my feet that I exposed. Um, on my face, I definitely use a different sunscreen because my face doesn't do very well with chemical sunscreens, but my body can't stand it. So um, I use this on my body to prevent re-darkening or reoccurrence 
of the um, hyperpigmentation on my body just because I'm using a lot of actives on my body so definitely invest in a sunscreen if you're gonna be using any actives on your body to prevent redarkening to prevent any issues or sunburns on your skin just because you're using a lot of actives so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know down below which of these products you've tried out and which one you are looking forward to trying out please disclaimer i am not a professional i am just a crazy lady a product junkie and you do not have to go out and get all these products i'm just sharing with you guys um because i see that a lot of people are beginning to put out videos talking about even skin tone and stuff like that and i feel like these products work because i have tried them out and i'm telling you they work they do work so yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me today i will list all these products down below all the products that i mentioned down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one take care guys bye